behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. The city of Chicago allows people with disabilities living in some neighborhoods to get a personal handicapped parking spot right in front of their homes, like the one you see here. Well, those spots are assigned to one person and only while the person lives there. Morning Insider Lauren Victory found some of those spots are reserved for people who passed away quite a bit ago. On the city's west side, a busy boulevard. What's the most frustrating part about all of this? and some concerned busy bodies. I should be able to park on my block. Oh, very annoyed. These women who wanted to be anonymous pay close attention to the goings on in Garfield Park. People are being like threatening. Yeah, that's why that's the only reason why I'm covered up. The source of tension, these disabled parking signs, they're assigned to Washington Boulevard homeowners, some who've passed away. When I come home from work, there's no parks. Because those disabled spots are still being used, the women say if they try to park there, someone calls police, even though the spot is meant for a person who is now dead. When you buy a house, it does not come with a parking. That's true. The city must approve each sign and requires an annual $25 maintenance fee. A sign is supposed to be removed and a spot reverted back to public space when an applicant moves or dies. Well, and it's been over a year and there's three signs on my block that have not been removed. I told some of my coworkers that work about it. She said it's the same thing on her block. The Department of Finance puts the onus on relatives to report deaths so the signs can be taken down. Should that policy change? Perhaps forgetfulness due to grief or more cynically, the desire to keep a sweet spot prevents timely updates to the city. More victory, CBS 2 News. Well, less than 48 hours after CBS2 contacted the city, the disabled parking signs at three addresses in question were removed. For more stories like this one, download our new app and look for the section called Morning Insiders.